tsunami have Tenchi Mule? Yes. That, I believe it. Yes, yes, it did. Because I think Outlaw Star was like late at night. Outlaw Star was late at night. So was Cowboy Beepa. Oh, Cowboy Beepa. <laughs> So was Death Note. So was Attack on Titan. So was Soul Eater. Uh, I almost forgot about Soul Eater. A lot of these animes that are pretty good. Because freaking uh, recently on Netflix, I was able to uh, watch uh, Baki. The and uh, yeah. And I think I think they finally ended it because they finally had the fight between Baki and his father, and I was kind of disappointed with the fight. Because hmm. like pretty much like the worst this season where they had to fight and so far where it ended. I don't know if we're gonna add more to it or not. But like in the beginning of it, uh, fucking um, they discover a frozen like big ass caveman frozen with a uh, T Rex. And, um, from my folk I remember in the very beginning, the scientist, he's hungry. So, you know what his dumbass does? He goes into where they have the frozen T Rex, cuts off a piece of the meat on pieces, and cooks it. And while he's cooking the, the T Rex meat, and like, it, it, like the smell of the T Rex meat goes towards the caveman is, and, he un and he's like unfrozen, and it brings him to life. And he goes after like the caveman meat and all oh, fucking um the moment he's awake like all like those big name fighters and Baki sends this powerful presence being like awakened and the other one that challenged the caveman the caveman they call him pickle mm. and like a few of the fighters like they take the caveman to japan and in secret they have him like in this like underground area and they some fighters go there to find him and like they all get like Destroyed embarrassingly by this uh, caveman. See, the caveman doesn't have any like uh, martial arts experience. He's just you know fighting to survive or eat. So he fights them like they're prey. So, like like I, I want to say like the first two fighters he fights, he actually takes a piece of them to eat. Like this is a kung fu guy he fights who like he takes half of his weight as as a prize for winning the fight. And this other guy he eats uh, his hand. And then, like, the Baki, the main character, takes on Caveman. The Caveman learns about, like, how they fight and shit, so he stops trying to eat them. But then, like, I guess, like, through, like, the experience of fighting the Caveman, Baki, like, extremely improves. And then he finally takes on his father. And, the, like, the whole fight, bruh, it's just, like, on and off of them, like, one up in each other. But in the end, it's like, oh, no, they're not fighting. It's like, they're just showing a love for each other. Even though Baki's father killed killed his mother and shit, and it's just a sense of having somebody to fight. Then I can like towards the end where like they can't fight no more, or at least Baki can't fight no more. Uh, the dad admits to Baki that he's the strongest, and then Baki admits to the dad that he wants to fight. That's where it ends. Mm. I thought it was gonna be like a fight to like the death or some shit, or like you know Baki getting all pissed off that his father you know killed his mom and shit. For the pursuit of strength, but no, it wasn't like that. Huh. Yeah, that sounds kind of hot. What Pokemon do you have left to evolve now that you have Seedra uh, evolved? What's left? Apart from the Grimer. Um, I can't really name all of them, to be honest. I know I, don't, I, know I don't have Jutini or Rhyhorn. So that's three right there. Oh my god, Dratini is going to be a pain in the ass and get to 55. Or is it yeah, 75 or 50? 55. That's 30 and 55. Because I'm assuming you have no other candies, right? Uh, no. Not like I have that many. Even if I had them all, it would help, but... 
Uh, you don't get anywhere near that many. Him and Rhydon are both a pain. I mean, Grimer's... Several of these middle-leveling 30, late 30s, and early, uh, late 20 Pokemon take forever. What level does uh, Rhyhorn evolve to Rhydon? 49 or some shit. Holy shit. Him and Dratini are always some of the worst. Like, fucking... Grimer's taken a bit here. Doduo took a bit, and he only was like 30-something. Or 28. Like, some of these middle-ranged Pokemon are... Taking quite a bit. And wheezing to 35, that took a while. Yeah, 42, not 49. Close enough. I'm surprised I can even remember a good portion of Gen 1's level. How do they evolve? And then there's the fucking fossils. Uh, I need to evolve them, so... Dratini, yeah. Fossils, Rhyhorn. Wait, you haven't involved the fossil Pokemon yet? No, I haven't. I think I, I want to say they're both involved at what? 40? 40, 40, and they start at 30. They take a bit, but it's only 10 levels. I got every... I got everything else. Exclusive. Any Pokemon, potentially, that could only be got from in-game trades. Yeah. Um... I got all my exclusives. I got... M Mew. Through glitch, obviously. I got Mewtwo. I got all the trade-based Pokemon Evolves. Yeah. Golem, Gengar, Machamp, all them. Uh, I got... Mm, I think I got most of all the stone-based evolutions, if not all of them. But even though we got what, Mew and the Glitch, it's still pretty much legit considering it's part of the game. It's part of the game, I'll say. I mean, it can't be traded at all. People have tried to Poke Bank. I've never done it, but people have tried. There are ways and workarounds, but still, like, I have legit Mews, so I don't really care. Yeah. But either way, like, he doesn't even technically... None of the... Mythical, I don't call them that. The event legendaries technically don't count for, you know, completion. Yeah, but it's still nice to have. It still have, yeah. Like, if I can't get, say, Celebi or Jirachi through whatever other means, then, like, it doesn't matter. Like, Darkrai... Or if I, you know, Darkrai, uh, Cresselia, those kind of Pokemon, those are a bit different. They're not, like, the main mascot event. Yeah. I don't know. They're, like, Celebi, Jirachi, Mew, Arceus, those guys are more of, like, ones that don't matter. I don't know if that count with some of the minor ones, like Darkrai, Cresselia, which some are in-game, some aren't. Uh, I don't know if Latios Latias like actually counts or if they're an event. I they are. I know they are in game and ones in an event. Whatever you could trade them over though. Still, either way, some Pokemon like that I do count and some I don't.
Is Raichu a little bit more tinky now? Sort of. He can handle Lorelei fine. Unless I get bad RNG with Confuse or Frozen or whatever the f*** is. I always thought Jinx is just looking like, why? <laughs> like she just got beat. <laughs> like, look at her face. Like she got punched in the face. And she's just like, why? <laughs> it's imaginative mind on a bad screen as a kid. <laughs> oh, man, Jinx. Nicki Minaj on Pokemon. Yeah, back when she wasn't purple. <laughs> Not that it mattered in this version, anyway. True. As there was no color. Pokemon, for a lot of people, may have played this on a Game Boy Color. But Red, Blue, and Yellow are, in fact, not Game Boy Color games. They are Game Boy games. They have no... Oh. Freaking, was in, uh, what? Going it was Gen 2, yep. Yeah. It was Game Boy Color with Gen 2. Sometimes even I forget that. But, yeah, Gen 1 is technically not Game Boy Color. I do have my fucking pocket Game Boy, though, but I... I was still born in 89, so by the time I was really growing up, I already had a lot of the shit. If I was born earlier, then things have been different, probably. I definitely would have experienced Pocket Game Boy much more than I have. I'm glad I didn't, because that screen is awful. Forget the how much like my mom hated me as a kid when it came to a uh, fucking uh everyone just thought like, Mom, can you buy me batteries? <laughs> <laughs> Every Every time I dance for batteries to it, just, just like, man, why? <laughs> it feels weird that some things still take batteries. Like, uh. Like, it's I like, freaking, yeah. like, we had come, like, a long way when we think about it, considering fucking most of shit now, it's just, it, you just gotta charge it. 
Yeah, and everything, and your shows are online, so no one uses a fucking remote anymore. The only controller I can have that has batteries is my Xbox, one of them. For me, it's the my TV controller for the TV, but half the time I just use the uh, yeah, <laughs> the buttons on the TV changes sometimes. Yeah, I don't even have the TV. <laughs> <laughs> my entertainment's Twitch and YouTube. Well, I don't use my TV for uh, yeah. to like oh. watch TV. I don't have the uh, yeah. since we never really had cable. I don't have the uh, the box for the antenna to watch TV digitally now. That's how it's required for most more, like for most people. And even then, half the time, I'm just watching random shit on YouTube. But I'm not watching on the laptop. Or I'm just either watching DVDs or check out from the library on the PlayStation. Or like, I'm either on Netflix or Mood to watch the shit on there. There's like, there's like, it's been years last time I actually watched TV, TV, like, like Channel 9 or shit like that. Shit like, bro, does, does your dad and the, this, uh... Your dad and mom still watch regular TV or not anymore? Yes, they watch TV still. Somewhat. <laughs> watch news, the weather, and whatnot. But other than that, they generally watch a lot of shows. I'm sure it's off off of whatever they watch it off of on his Xbox. Yeah. I don't know what services they have, but I see them watching a lot of shows and movies and whatnot, so they definitely watch TV and or have a subscription to something. Either way, we have a vastly different age. In a, such a short time frame. That is true. But, uh, freaking, and also, before I forget, I felt so old on TikTok the other day. I saw a video of her, a mother gifted her daughter a, a hand-me-down gift, right? And it, it's a gift she mentioned, like, my gra my uh, your grandma bought me when I was around your age. And you know what the gift was, Brett? Hmm. A pair of vintage shirt pants. The shirt pants that you and me and Tom used to wear back in the high school days. Like, I don't know if you wore the trip pants, but I know me and Tom wore them. No, I did not. But like, it, it made me feel old. Oh, oh, I'm that old already. Trip pants are vintage. Oh, 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 oh. oh it hurt. <laughs> and then that one pose you posted on Facebook at the fucking CD player in the museum. And I'm like, oh, we're getting old. How is that vintage? <laughs> Why? It should be... The I mean, there's, they have records and other things on display, and typewriters, and people by parents, you know, time, but of course they're going to have, it's just, it feels odd growing up now, seeing stuff from our generation being put on display like it's fucking national treasure. Like, I don't know, as a kid seeing shit that from like the 50s and 60s, something my parents would have grown up with. And it's just like, okay, that, that feels odd, uh, that feels cool, but now seeing that we're becoming part of history, it feels weird. So going to a, the uh, going to a museum to see, like, fucking CDs and boomboxes and fucking... S what is it next? Are they gonna hang lime wire signs or some shit on the walls and shit? And everyone stealing music back in the day? <laughs> like Kazaa, lime wire, and all that nonsense? They gonna they gonna have like Motorola flip phones or they gonna have like landline phones? What? They gonna show me a link? Can they have two Game Boys with a link cable? How about an Ethernet cord, uh, cord connected to a console? So many different things from our generation that we they could easily put on display too.
Yeah, I remember one. I remember one memory as a kid. My parents still had a TV that you can fuck around with the color and nonsense, all the knobs, fucking RGB and all that nonsense. There was a bunch of different knobs. It wasn't just the power knob or volume knob or whatever else. My grandma had one of those. Yeah, it was it was a really old TV. I remember f those. It might have been my grandma's. But I do have vivid memories of hanging out with my grandma before she passed away. But yeah, it was still, like... I've seen some older technology that I barely remember, but it's just... It's so weird. Surprising, even though it's extremely outdated, people still love doing the uh, vinyl records. Probably so. It probably sounds. I don't know. A yeah, lot that's of, what that's something I hear that it, it sounds better, like uh, sound quality. Cause I know that uh, a lot of for older... more like uh, modern people, mm -hmm. they actually sell modern uh, record players. I, I think they're called whatever they are. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they make a lot of older modern machines because a lot of older technology sounded better to people, generally speaking. Hmm. That's I mean, like I, the I, one thing that sucks though is like I saw like on TikTok and YouTube where like people they collect the uh, vinyl records because like you know how like most vinyl records have like cool designs around them to promote but the, the record. Yeah. Apparently, like they use really cheap plastic material for that. And apparently that material, if you keep it stored a long time with the record, over time it actually destroys the record inside the cheap material they use for it. Hmm. But like for like for people that collect that kind of stuff, they have to like quickly uh get rid of the original like plastic covering and use something else to uh, preserve the the uh the record. I only remember one record my parents had, and that was the Elementary Punk's Christmas shit. <laughs> they, to my knowledge, they probably played it, but I remember seeing it years ago when I was still, when we were still kids. <laughs> the last time I interacted with any kind of uh, a record or record player was in Spider Man Miles Morales. Or because, like, uh, Miles Morales' mom has a record player in the apartment. Uh, a juice box thing. Kind of, and you you pick the song to play during like a Christmas thing. I've actually used the Yeah, that's pretty fun. I mean, they have that in all the so that's too kind of. I mean, you don't really interact with it, but you choose your music. Yeah, it, it was kind of cool on the way to have it because like he he like he'll like do some of the records they have on there. And Mom Morales, he'll talk a little bit about the uh the track and why the mom has it. Then you just pick the song, and I'll start playing it. That's cool. So who do you have in your party now to evolve? Slowpoke. Hour. I 
the little uh, snow cone Pokemon is spawning for the other Vanilla Lake. Mm. And if I'm lucky, I'll get a shiny. Strawberry cone. <laughs> Kind of. I mean, it becomes pink, right? <laughs> The shiny? I, it's either pink or purple. It's one of those. Either way, it goes from like a blue, blue snow cone to a strawberry cone. I love flavor ice cream cone. See, that's another thing I miss from my childhood ice cream trips. Oh, they're still a thing. I know they're a thing, but I'm just saying, like, it's just, I do miss that thing. I know they're a thing. I rarely see it around here, but it's still. Well, they're well, they're they're common around here in Burrow, especially in the summer. They're always going around the park. Yeah. Those stupid ice cream characters with eyeballs that never. <laughs> well, I know whatever Merger's playing is part of his before, and I see he's still playing Fortnite on the PS5. Well, he's probably. Pumping. Yeah, too. My what on the mark backwards has come. Yay! It's finally evolving. This pile of shit. Probably smell like ass. Oh, we know he does. Remember how Ash reacted to his smell? Not just him. Everyone. And nothing can beat it except for Bellsprout. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yes, because Bellsprout for some reason couldn't smell it. Every other Pokemon was literally stunned by its smell and odor. Yeah. You know you know who else can't smell it? Krillin. Mm. Probably. But... You're right. Even though he f somehow faked smelling bacterium. Exactly what I was saying. You remember that fight in Dragon oh, Ball? Yeah. And I don't know where. Goku's like, Krillin, you don't have a nose. Oh, yeah, that's right. Like, how do you go from smelling <laughs> to not smelling? How do you do that? I have Dragon Ball logic, I swear. And it's not even that it's funny either. It's like. In the sense of that show's writing, like, how do you fucking do that? <laughs> I know it's not supposed to make sense, it's Dragon Ball. It's Dragon Ball, it's there for the comedy, but it's like, yeah. it's, a, it's a gag within the show, and I love it, and it just, it's... Like a ninja that uses a gun. And then the latter half of Dragon Ball got weird. Well, weirder. More serious. Yeah. Well, it, it got more serious when Piccolo came around. Right. TN, too. TN is where it really started, but then Piccolo ramped it up. Because after, after that, in, that fight, that Goku barely lost, barely won him. Or lost or whatever. Fucking was out of energy, had no food, Krillin goes off, get the dragon ball. Bah. Yeah, let off <laughs> the next fight. Yeah, definitely went one eight. That's another thing about Dragon Ball that I don't like though, is I wish they give some of these like characters like that just more build up. Piccolo just pops in. Like hello. I don't know, they kind of just direction changed it. You could tell that they wanted the series Toei, or whatever wanted the series to go beyond what it originally wanted. <sighs> so many revisions to Dragon Ball in general, and they would never have gone this far. 
It was never meant to go this far. It was supposed to end much earlier. So many times. Yeah, they milked it. Well, it was it. There's so many ending spots. The of the Pilaf art, which is where it originally ended, was supposed to end. I was that I that I heard, and then it was should have ended at Piccolo, like Piccolo Junior. And then Frieza arc was supposed to be it, or at least that was my original thought. I don't know if that's supposed to be the case, but that could have been an ending. But no. Oh, hold up. Well, I'm calling. Oh, Hello? Rudimentary. So far, no shiny. Much on the Switch when it comes to Pokemon. Like, I think I told you last time I logged in, which is to the uh, Mystery Goal, mm. the Mystery Gift. And I'm not gonna count it, so you know, it gave me the Shiny Lucario. It's not something that I caught myself, it was given to me. Mm. And like in Pokemon Go, the, the last Shiny I caught, hold up, uh, Shiny as why My most recent Shiny is, uh, Thermaton? Thermaton? He's an ice type. Hmm. He's, a, he's a one of those, uh, ones re his original species, he's, he's like a fire type. It's that one, like, when he's fire type, like, in Zammo, he looks like he's a, like, turns into stone. Uh, I got the ice version of him, shiny. Bubs, how you doing? Yeah, I haven't done anything shiny Pokemon in a while, but Scarlet and Violet was the little bit I did off stream where I hunted a horde of Boo Weasel and got one. That was the last thing I did on any modern Pokemon game. Like, I haven't played, like, a modern Pokemon game. Aside the brief bit of Mystery Dungeons remake, but that still came out probably some like two years back, yeah. or whatever it was. And I didn't get a shiny in that. I mean, I told you I've seen some, several. And didn't get any. But other than that, yeah. I hope you're doing well, D. Boobs. Wobbly, 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 D. Statuses. Hagatha. Yeah, she's the most annoying just for those reasons. I mean, she drags the battle. Pretty much. She's the one of the weakest, but yeah, that's her only gimmick. It's really her only go-to. That and she swaps. Swaps around and give it the chance. She's annoying. The mo she's the only one who's annoying. Because, <sighs> I mean, Lorelai can... Pa I can freaking freeze you she and confuse you she's not as bad but here he she fucking put me to sleep and confused me and is now dream eating me like, ugh. she 
she st Ag Agatha is just generally a staller. She's just not not a problem if you could take her out. Like, to be honest, I lost to her in this playthrough only because I was severely weakened or some shit. I don't even remember. Like I would, I have to be like either weakened to fuck out of moves or have horrendous RNG like I just did. And there's more of it. Mm. Her hunter is merely taking my Mewtwo out. Because of RNG. And there goes my Mewtwo. <coughs> Shit like that. I could have restored his health, but... Either way, why did I send back us? Look like okay, I have no idea. Let me kill you. You have any revives? I just revived my Mewtwo. Oh, just go away. This is the longest I've fought you already. Just go away. No, nothing spawning. The fight in what, her party, the Gengar or the Hunter? Okay, the Hunter is the one that gave me the most trouble there, but all of them, they all do the same shit. They all just caught me in a loop, but that Hunter was just being the most annoying. So. I normally never have trouble with but that can happen. Oh, does Mew have any moves he actually learns in, uh, in Pokemon in the original besides Transform? Psychic and 
machine, whatever. I mean, I know he has similar moves, let's see if we can figure out what else he can actually do. At least you can easily buy the fucking coins from the coin game corner and buy some TMs. Some of the more superior TMs from the game corner prizes. If nothing else. Generally, I try to give Mew, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. Same as the E2. So I can replace Pidgey. That's if you use on my team. Which I have been known to use. Not so much on the stream though. I try not to use too many even basic legendaries, much less the that one. I save them generally for the grinding portion of it, if it's healthy. I mean, I generally completed every other fucking game, almost every other game on stream at some point. Like Oris, I did most of BDFP, most of Arceus, all of Let's Go, I think. In some regard, that's... I'm not sure if I could do it all of Let's Go Pikachu maybe, but I did a good portion of it, but not. But that's still another Gen 1 game remake. Like, I've done quite a few of the games on stream, so... If I could at least get through a good portion of some of the other ones, that'd be fantastic. Because then I've, I've not completed all of them on every game. That'd be amazing if I had that too. My actual goal would be to get the living decks, but Jesus, that's... would take forever. Like, shiny living decks. Every form, every Pokemon. Oh, a lot of grinding. A lot of breeding. A lot of whatever fucking... Poke radaring, Poke... God damn, a lot of horde hunting, a lot of different varieties of freaking chain hunts. So many bad shinies. I don't know why there's such a thing, but... I like different colored Pokemon, I guess. More than... Skins in... Games, other games. Or even some games with costumes. Like, I have to really care about, like, a game to really care about different costumes. But shiny Pokemon for some reason? I don't know why I, everyone, including myself, are, like, ape shit about. It's just different colors. And half of them are... And a good portion of them are awful. Or not, depending on your opinion. One of my favorites is Espeon. I mean, I love that Pokemon normally. One of my favorite, if not my favorite, evolution. That that Numbreon, who also has an amazing shiny. A lot of people hate Espeon shiny. No, I don't want to learn any. My Mewtwo learned. Huh? Did you mean just wait? Well, Espeon yeah, is foresty dark green, or like darker light green, not a shit dark green, but not a shit light green. Hard to explain. But yeah, like a grass foresty green, kind of. I like the color. Green. <sighs> I also like a lot of the blue shiny. Like Ponyta. Ponyta is pretty cool. Who loses it? And Rapidash for some fucked up reason. Seriously, I don't know why they didn't go with the blue that for the river. No, but when they do hit some awesome shinies, like Mew also. Shiny blue Mew. Blue did a blue did I do like the uh, the shiny Lucario. Gold, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, some of the golds are cool. Lucario is just a little overpowered, over, over, overused. 
just overplayed, overpopular. He's cool, but fighting types aren't really my favorite. I like his steel aspect, though. There's a lot of cool steel types, like, I like Steelix. Cause I know I, I abuse the Cario Pokemon Go when it comes to taking on the uh, Team Rocket or the real body. Fruit Macario is a badass, I can tell you that. Because you just, uh, you, you just gotta fucking cheese the, uh, the game. Because mm. fucking, uh, I was gonna say, uh, uh, ha bro, have you ever done any battles in Pokemon Go back in the day? No. It, it's very, it's it's very like simple for the most part. You just you know you use your quick attacks, you charge your 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 uh, your charge move to use against the enemy, and then you and your and your opponent have two shields you can use to shield yourself from like at least two ultimate attacks, right? And uh, normally when it comes to the team rocket grounds, they don't use it, so you could just you know pull those through them in a battle. But when it comes to uh, Giovanni and the leaders under him. They use the shields for protection. So what I do to cheese it, I, I send out Lucario, and my Lucario has power up punch. It's a charge attack, so it quickly charges up. So by the first Pokemon, with your mind, it's usually a spoken Pershing. So I try to cheese it where like since Lucario is steel, he can somewhat take Pershing's attack, so I could at least hopefully throw two power up punches to get rid of Giovanni's shield. So by the time I send out my two main Pokemon, he can't defend against them. It's like whenever you have Giovanni go for certain events, <coughs> and you will have a uh, Shadow Legendary Pokemon in the end, depending on what's promoting. And oh my god, the worst one would be yeah, Shadow Mewtwo. Shadow Mewtwo was a nightmare to fight. At least they are using Pokemon Connect to him and not actually just random. It's somewhat random because so far, apart from uh, Shadow Mewtwo, uh, uh, in, in a bit I will check my Shadow Pokemon. I know he has Shadow uh, Latios and Latia, Shadow Lugia, Shadow Ho Ho. Uh, I want to say he also has Shadow uh, those the Reggie Eyes, Reggie Steel, and Reggie Rock. And he also had the uh, the Shadow one, the Reggie Gigas. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yeah. Let me see, type in Shadow Pokemon on my Go account and see if I have. Reggie Butthole? Yeah, let's see, let's see what else for that is. Is that the ghost? Are you cool now? Uh. Mewtwo. And, uh, and Suicune. Nice. So far, let's spend the Shadow Pokemon that he has had. Usually during the event, if you beat, uh, Giovanni, you have a chance of catching the Shadow Electronic Pokemon after the battle. It's like with the Grunts and the Leaders, you have a chance to catch over any of the three Pokemon they have in their party as a Shadow Pokemon. It's usually usually get the first Pokemon they sent out. It's like a, it's like a weak ass Pokemon. If you're lucky, you'll get one of the other two, but it's, it's rare.
Alright, bro, I'm gonna be right back and I'm gonna use the bathroom.
Hmm. Well, we're gonna read out them. I'm getting tired. It's going on eight. I hope everyone had a good, a good time. I hope everyone has a good night. <laughs>